If you're visiting Dubai, going out to see the desert should be high on your priority list. A desert safari is one of the best ways that you can do this. So the ones that we've chosen is Platinum Heritage Heritage Desert Safari, which is in vintage Land Rovers, one of the higher end scale desert safaris. We've also taken Arabian Adventures. They're actually a subsidiary of Emirates Airlines, so they are very well known. We've taken Ocean Air Travels. They do very well on TripAdvisor, so we wanted to go and see why they rate so well. And then we did attempt to do a very cheap desert safari, one that was under $20. And surprise, surprise, we didn't even get picked up. It was a bit of a disaster, um, but I guess you do get what you pay for. All three companies will pick you up from your hotel. The Heritage Desert Safari, they picked you up in a very spacious Ford Expedition. The other two companies both picked us up in Land Cruisers, the same cars that we're going out and doing dune bashing in. They were a little bit cramped and I did have to sit in the back seat for Ocean Air Travels and I didn't get to move from there for the whole journey, which wasn't that much fun. When you get out to the desert, that's when you really can tell the difference. So with the Heritage Desert Safari, they take you out to the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. And when you go there, you are greeted by the most amazing sight of 22 restored vintage Land Rovers. These things are absolutely beautiful, especially if you're into classic cars, which I am. So they are from 1948 to about 1952, Series 1 and Series 2, and they really are beautiful. Arabian Adventures, you go to a spot where you let the tyres down. This place is pretty ugly. There is a bathroom there, but you have to line up. We didn't really get a chance to, to even use the facilities and before you they put their tyres down and you go out also into the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. Ocean Air Travels, they take you first to a um, quad bike, try and sell you on some quad bikes that are in a pen. We chose not to do it, it's pretty dangerous because people go in all different directions and there's quite a lot of accidents at these places. Then they took you to a place where they put their tyres down and it was a pretty ugly piece of desert. You could see trash, tyre marks, it, it really wasn't nice. We got told we could take photos there, but to be honest, we definitely didn't want to take photos of that. So now onto the desert drive bit. Platinum Heritage are an eco-tourism company, so they actually don't do dune bashing because it's unenvironmentally friendly. It does destroy the natural habitat. So you go on a wildlife drive in the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve, which is a sanctuary for animals, so you can spot the Arabian oryx, gazelles, sandfish, occasionally a desert fox if you're very, very lucky. You see the gaff trees, there, the national UAE tree. So the dunes are pristine. You still go to go up and down, but it's really gentle, so no sore back or anything like that, it's, it, it's a lovely experience, just as the sun's starting to set. Arabian Adventures also go into the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve and the first part of the wildlife drive is on a set track and then they go off-road and do a little bit of dune bashing. The dune bashing wasn't very fun at all. Because it was on such tight little areas, we were just like knocked back and forward. And the tracks were quite bumpy, so the whole experience was very bumpy and shaky. With Ocean Air Travels, you get to do a lot longer dune bashing, but it actually was a lot more fun than the Arabian Adventures style. So it was about 30 minutes and you really went off-road. It was like a real roller coaster ride. Again, it isn't environmentally friendly, so it's not something that I'm personally for. And eventually I did feel a little sick, especially near the end when we went back onto the tracks, similar to Arabian Adventures where there were bumpy tracks. The little kid in the front almost threw up, but it, it did have more of a fun element. So I would say, the wildlife drive with Platinum Heritage was definitely the best desert driving experience for us. If you want dune bashing, then Ocean Air did it better. Arabian Adventures didn't really get either of them right. After the desert drive with Platinum Heritage, we were taken to a falconry show. This was spectacular. We got all the information of how the Bedouin used to use falcons for hunting, and then we saw it fly to the lure, which is quite spectacular because the falcon is actually the fastest animal on earth in full swoop. So it does a few rounds and then goes and gets the quail. With the ocean air travels, we got to try some sandboarding when we were out in the desert. That was fun. Arabian Adventures didn't really have anything like that. They did have sandboarding when you got to the camp, but there was a big long line and a very steep walk up so we didn't actually do it there. Again when you get to each of the camps you can have camel rides. Arabian Adventures and Ocean Air Travels had really long lines and so we didn't bother on that one and you can do just a short little one with Platinum Heritage because it is at night and the camels can't see. 
As far as the camps go, Platinum Heritage, Heritage Camp was absolutely stunning. It's made quite traditionally and it's like lit up beautifully. It definitely was by far the best. They had lots of little stations all around so you could actually see someone make the traditional Arabic bread, Arabic coffee. You got greeted with rose water and the traditional coffee. It was a beautiful camp. Arabian Inventions also had quite a nice camp. Didn't have quite as much charm to it and it had a few sort of commercial elements like um, a photo booth where you got to dress up. Probably the least attractive camp was definitely Ocean Air. In fact I would go to say it looked run down, tired and ugly. You could dress up in the traditional garments, yeah have your photo taken, that was all complimentary as well. At the camps themselves all three offered henna so you could get your hands painted and that was complimentary. There was complimentary shisha at both Ocean Air Travels and Platinum Heritage but Arabian Adventures, you had to pay for it. The food, again, hands down winner was Platinum Heritage. The starters were brought to your table and it was really good quality food. You do go up to get your mains. The mains are lamb uzi, chicken kebabs, you can try some camel meat, chicken haris, there's vegetarian options and it's all served in quite a traditional way. The lines go really quickly so you're not really waiting. Arabian Adventures, um, you have to line up for everything. It takes a while. It's not the best quality food at all. Same with Ocean Air Travels. It was just a buffet. Starters and mains together with Ocean Air. Yeah, it, it, they were okay. It was, it was edible food, but it was nothing spectacular. For the entertainment, Platinum Heritage kept it quite traditional. So they did um, Emirati style entertainment, which was a drumming session where you got to actually join in and have a go at the drums yourself, which was a lot of fun. And then they also did a Yola performance, I think it was called, where they skillfully threw up these um, replica rifles. Arabian Adventures had a very long belly dancing show. Belly dancing isn't really of this region, so I don't know why they do belly dancing, but it was entertaining. If a little bit saucy, <laughs> um, then the entertainment Ocean Air's Travels was really good. They had a fire thrower, a tanura dancer, which again, from Turkey, but yeah. But it was just very entertaining to watch and also a belly dancing show that was more dancing than what we felt was offered at Arabian Adventures. So. Ultimately, I like the traditional aspect of the entertainment at Platinum Heritage, but for entertainment value, I thought Ocean Air was really good with theirs. I didn't enjoy Arabian Adventures at all. So on all three of them, photo opportunities. Platinum Heritage, you got these beautiful Land Rovers, which were very photogenic. You had pristine sand dunes, you had falcons, you had beautiful camp. It definitely hands down better photos than the other two, which you could get your desert sort of shots in the dunes, which is fun. Uh, but the cars are definitely not photogenic, the four wheel drives. One thing I want to throw in is about the guides. Platinum Heritage call themselves conservation guides. They are definitely a lot better trained than the others. Their information was clear, concise. They had obviously gone through a lot of training and knew not just about history and facts in Dubai, but about the desert, the Bedouin, fauna, flora. It was really interesting to listen to everything they had to say and, and the falconry show as well. The guide from Ocean Air Travel was really friendly as well. He accommodated me getting motion sick tablets when I was stuck in the back of the car and feeling quite sick. But he also knew a lot of facts about Dubai. The only thing was he harassed me the whole time about TripAdvisor from start to finish and including a message at the end telling me to review him five stars, five stars, five stars. He even made me take a photo of him with my phone and told me to post it, which I thought was a bit off, but maybe that sort of pressure is why they've got so many reviews and do well on TripAdvisor. That's what I could imagine. Arabian Venture, the guide, had been there for a while. He didn't seem that interested. He was nice enough, I don't have a problem, but he was too busy organizing the other people. I think he was one of the supervisors and we were left at the back a lot of the time. He didn't really talk to us about much, so yeah, that definitely was my least favorite guide. So sometimes things come down to price. Platinum Heritage was definitely the most expensive, although I felt it was worth it. Arabian Adventures was the next most expensive, which I didn't feel was worth it. And then Ocean Air was a lot cheaper than Arabian Adventures. I would have chosen uh, Ocean Air travel over Arabian Adventures for overall experience. So yeah, value for money. Ocean Air does fine if you want a cheaper option or if you want a really good experience, I would definitely recommend paying the extra for Platinum Heritage. As far as overall experience goes, you probably guessed it, Platinum Heritage, the Heritage Desert Safari was by far my favorite. You definitely get what you pay for and this was a once in a lifetime experience. Everything was perfect throughout the whole tour. There's not one thing I could complain about. 
If you'd like other information on Dubai activities or just general advice about Dubai, subscribe to our channel and you can also watch other videos here. And we've got a blog, which is DubaiTravelAdvice.com. Thanks.